have a work, we, we are Rocky. Rocky, we have, a, we were established in, back in 2014. We have uh, five products in the consumer market already. And uh, Rocky Glass is our first product going to the enter enterprise world. And uh, originally we started with from China. And right now we have, we have several offices globally, yeah. So, you know, basically everyone knows that, uh, you know, because of the impact of the e-commerce, so kind of the brick and mortar store is kind of dying right now. I mean, uh, I read a recent job report uh, from LinkedIn. It said there's a huge gap between the supply and demand in the, job, in the retail job market. Actually, I, I went shopping you know, yesterday, actually. Uh, there's you know, Trader Joe's and Stables and a lot of Whole Foods, a lot of those retail stores, also in the you know, Gap and the HM. I see, a, I see a recruitment, right? They all want someone to work for them. So there's a huge gap there. Oh, sorry. Okay, and also in the next, in, in the last uh, several years, a lot of us stores, they just uh, closed the door. They filed bankruptcy because they can't run, you know, maintain their running cost, and also their growth is really slow right now. So, you know, there's several reasons why retail is getting, you know, uh, corrupt by the e-commerce. One of them, um, you know, a lot of people are saying, you know, e-commerce is more efficient. That's why they run their business in more efficient, so they, they, they just beat the, the, the offline stores. But actually, I think the, user, the, the shopping experience is one important factor in the offline retail industries. That's why we talk about the uh, experience. So, you know, I think if, if you're in the retail industry, you already know, right? Shopping is not only the, the buying, it's kind of the experience. How do you deliver your brand message? How do you deliver the kind of the, your product message? which is really critical in all the offline shopping. So that's why we said re new retail, new experience. I think there's some formatting issue with Keynote and uh, PowerPoint, but anyway. So there's several trends, right? The first one is uh, smaller stores that you reduce your cost in inventory, and also you know, online store building offline stores, right? And then the offline store building online e-commerce. I still see some of the you know, brand, they have two, so totally two different systems. Like online, they totally go that online inventory management and also all the ordering. And some, you know, offline, they do their own, which is, you know, very old school, but, you know, it's kind of stopped them from growing. And the, uh, the, the most important thing is the experimental shopping. How do you, just like I said, right, how do you increase the experience, which is really a critical factor of, of offline shopping? So, because people, you know, some, I talked to, we, talk, we did a lot of research. We talked to a lot of stores in China and the US, and also we interviewed like over 200, you know, random consumers. Actually, a lot of them saying, oh, I still want to go offline store sometimes. But, you know, I'm not going to buy a lot of things. I just want to get a touch, a feel, you know, what the brand is, what the store is. So, they still want to go there. It just it depends on how you deliver the message to them. So this is something, you know, uh, it's a very uh, famous research, actually. So about a, almost everyone want to have a better, you know, install experience. And also a lot of them are looking for, uh, you know, technology improvement. Actually, we talked to several ve uh, very well-known retail brands, and they're a public company in the U.S. They said their stock price get uh, trumped because you know, there's, uh, you know, the, the stakeholders think they don't have enough technology deployment. So they also ta actively talking to us, say, hey, how do you improve this for us? So uh, you see that one is the kind of the uh, Amazon Go, and uh, Walmart also deploying some new technology. Actually, they recently buy like, I think it's uh, 30,000 VR headsets for their training purpose. And also Target like, build a lot of the, you know, experience in house. And also, this is uh, like China, uh, you know, stores. Actually, ch you know, new retail in China is getting crazy right now. They have like an M&M store. You know, when Amazon is still talking about it, right? They have like a second store just for it. Actually, China have like, I don't know, over 500, something like that, M&M stores. Basically, you don't have to do anything. Just to go there and just scan the thing. And also, the online, offline system is just like, so integrated. So that's why we, that's how we say, what, how do we improve the install experience, right? First thing, you have to in, integrate the online, offline. We will talk about this with our solution. And the second one is the, the physical store as an extension of the brand. I think that's really important and that's how AR kick in on the experience. 
like so, right? So you can't really just put your stuff there. It's not only you're stocking your, your stuff, your, your product, SKUs. It's kind of you have to, you know, use certain uh, setup or AR, using AR or using physical setup to deliver the brand message to them, that which is really critical. And a third one, which is also a big problem, actually, how do you deliver a consistent and superior uh, service by the sales rep to your customer? Because I think any of you have such experience that you go to some store, you want to buy something, and some sales rep give you like this face, and you don't, oh, never mind, I'll just leave, right? So how do you, you know, provide this consistent uh, sales service to them? It's really critical when, you know, uh, uh, most of the retail stores in the US, they basically hire part-time, or, or just, you know, some contractor. A lot of them just like, uh, they still take part-time when they have school. How, you can't really expect them to have a consistent and great service, right, when you work as part-time. So, so we, here we have our AR gas. Like I said, we have five products delivered to the consumer market already. That's why we think we have a great experience, we have a, a lot of experience on defining the user experience. So, you know, I, I know they have a factory, they, they uh, you know, share the factory stories, and also experience in the manufacturing and supply chain. I think those are great, but you know, some, each company have their own DNA, right? So I think we have certain advantage in the consumer experience. That's why we want to, you know, we target on the, the market that's more, uh, you know, focus on experience. So that's why we are glass. We want, we make it kind of the, in the middle of HoloLens and, uh, and uh, Google Glass. We still provide the, uh, you know, AR core, AR key, level uh, slam performance, and also we have object recognition and voice control, gesture control, everything. So we just make you a great uh, experience. And the Rocky AR solution, that's one of our solutions for the uh, retail industry. We want to revitalize the install experience with AI and AR. Because we have, uh, we want, we, we don't think AR can be a, a key solution by itself. It definitely have to involve in a certain AI. Because if we're talking about a slam, it's a little bit about AI and also voice and gesture, and also you know, a lot of big data on the end to give you insights, give you recommendations. I think that's a critical thing of AI. So we have three solutions here. So the first thing is a store assistant. Like I mentioned before, right? The, the, it's, it's very hard for the uh, store staff, especially if they are kind of don't have enough training to really provide a great performance. That's why we have a store assistant. Basically, you, know, you can wear the glass and you look at the, the stuff, either with QR code or not. It can do the uh, object recognition. So it can, if you search, say, hey, uh, what's the background story of this? What's a, is this a new arrival? Or it's, or it's kind of the latest thing, right? What's the discount is? Because you know, still people go to some stores. They have to scan this thing in some uh, you know, market stand uh, station to see uh, is there any discount or not. A lot of people just have these uh, questions. So this store assistant can also help you to check the inventory to, to see uh, if this, uh, you know, this color is available in this store or the next store. Actually, we, also, we already work with one partner in China. Basically, they can order this online. So let's say you can, you can check, oh, the red color is in another store. You can write it online and send it to the customer's address directly. So you don't have to go through you know, the system. And the shopping assistant, basically, it's a smart, personalized uh, shopping assistant. Uh, we, you you can, you can, it's kind of like you have, a stuff, you have a stuff with you all the time, and it's by request. A lot, you know, you, you, it's very hard to get a balance between you know, too much information and the too little information. So we wanted this uh, wrapping assistant to be the right, right there, and it's just based on your requirement. And see, we'll see your you know, shopping behavior, I will explain later. And Data Insider, basically, you know, there's a, a lot of, um, you know, people, the e-commerce uh, company, they have leveraging the online data a lot. But actually, the offline data is not fully leveraged. That's why uh, we want to put a data insider so you can collect the data and also analyze the offline data. We, we also explain that later in the detail page. Yeah, okay. So basically, store assistant, uh, there's several benefits for that, right? So first of all, it can never be so easy to have a well-trained source stop. You basically have every information there. It's kind of handbook, and it's a really dynamic handbook. Give you all the information, and also improve the efficiency of the onboarding and the training, especially when a lot of them are part-time. And uh, improve the work performance and accountability of stuff. That's what I said, you know, provide a consistent and stable experience to the consumers. This is uh, basically the training cost for the retail stuff. Yeah. 
because I don't have enough time. I just go really quick. Yeah. So the second one is a, a personal assistant. Basically, we will do the integration of online, offline data. So all, all those information, we already have partner, we're working on the solution already on one. And we are working on the pilot program, which will be landed in uh, on November. And the uh, integration online, offline data, basically you can check everything. Even, you, you can even use a glass to check out. And also, uh, personalized voice assistant. You can ask, say, you, you, after you scan something, the shoes, you can ask, hey, is there a red color? And it will give you the answer, right? And you can also say, hey, how's the review? And give you the information. So I think the variable is just the, I'm talking about the UX, right? It, you only want the information you want. Because it, it's not like the cell phone. It gives you a lot of information. You just scroll, browse, you know, click on the button, and find the information yourself. It's that it should be the information right for you. That's something we're really uh, working hard to do it. And also using AR and audio to give you the brand message and explain how it works. And see what you see in private exclusivity is actually something special for the glass. Because you know a lot of stores, they have a big, big screens, right? Sometimes you have a, you scan something, the big screen shows everything about the product. But it's not only for you. So the AR glass is basically exactly for you only. And also uh, here's about the uh, AR AI improve the engagement. So basically, uh, I don't want I don't want to go to to the else, but you know, 81 percent of them really want to you know have a personalized experience. But so, how do you give a personalized experience? Right now, uh, the offline store is having this problem. So using our device, you can have this, you can resolve this, and also more engagement actually improves the revenue and reduce the, the cost. Uh, here, so basically, like I said, right? So increasing customer experience actually increase the consumer spending, and increase the customer not normally just increase the cost because you need a better sales stuff, right? And so leveraging AI, AR, we believe that it can provide a consistent and increase with less cost. Uh, so here's the data. So some data, I'll just quickly go through them. Uh, so basically online data, you can do a conversion, right? You can say how, many, how, how much time you spend on each page. And a lot of the, you can have a very good uh, sales funnel. And offline data, you don't have those things, right? And also the conversion rate, traction, how long you look at the product, all those information, you don't have it. But with uh, offline data capturing, you know, the camera, see what you see. You can get all the information. Actually, you know, the camera, what I mean see what you see is basically another way is, you know, if you look at this product, I carry this product, I focus on this product. It knows how much time you spend on each product. You know, after that, if you have a certain heat map, so later you can use this data for, you know, uh, shelf layout, or you're doing the uh, stocking management, inventory management, things like that. It can be used. And also, you can know if you take this thing, you buy it or not. You either just put it back. There's, there might be some reason that you can think of. And also, if you bring like two items similar, and why don't you buy it or not? Or maybe there's a certain case that the store stuff just come out and say, hey, you tried several stuff, why don't you buy it? Uh, do you need any advice? Things like that, yeah. And uh, this is a quick demo, it's actually, it's not working. Oh, anyway, it's not working. It's a video that we, we're doing in one, uh, one shopping mall in China. And uh, here's the thing, so basically AR, AI is kind of still, the core <coughs> value of it is still increasing the efficiency and uh, improve the engagement, right? And also there are a lot of data there, and this is also the formatting issue. So I think fan training logistic, it's kind of the normal AR use cases. Uh, in, in the industry right now. So actually, I'll just show, uh, share the last uh, story. So basically, we know that those industries have a lot of use cases right now. But you know, actually, one customer we have, one re retail customer we have right now, they are ordering like over 50, 500 units because they have like five, uh, 50 shopping mall. Each shopping mall, they have like 10 units. It's not too much. But so even it's a very early industry, but still they have very good, uh, decent growth in there. Yeah, if there's a value. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. So if you have any questions, yeah. yeah.